Hi, I'm Chloe and welcome back to Chloe World. Today, I want to compare my two favorite bags. It's a requested video and I know it's always hard to choose the one. I hope my video helped you make a better choice. It's Louis Vuitton's Bitty Bandolier size 25 and it's Alma in BB size. I want to talk about the measurement first. It's 25 centimeters in width, 19 centimeters in height, and 12 centimeters in depth. It's the front, the back. And the bottom red textile lining inside with one flat pocket like so it comes with the detachable strap and the key pouch On the right side, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. I really love its elaborate design. I mean, it's such a small bag, but it's got a lot of details, which make this bag even cuter. Then now, let me show you Speedy B, which is so-called Speedy Bandolier. It's 25 centimeters in width, 19 centimeters in height, and 15 centimeters in depth. It is the front, and it's one continuous piece of the canvas like so. You can see the Louis Vuitton logo is upside down on the back side. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on the left side. According to the size measurement, it's just 3 cm bigger in depth than Alma BB, but I feel it's much, much bigger than that. The same red textile lining inside, and there's one zipped pocket like so. As you know, it used to be non-zipped, but the new models got the zipper one. Now, I want to show you what they look like on me. I really, really love my Alma BB as a tote bag. It's the bag that I grab and go the most because it's so easy to use. I normally don't carry that much, it holds everything that I need, it's all compact and it goes with everything, I just love it. And Alma as a shoulder bag looks like this. And it's Alma BB as a crossbody bag. It's Speedy B25 as a tote bag. I like this as well. Sometimes the strap bothers me, but I love this. Speedy B as a shoulder bag looks like this. 
I think size 25 is the best as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag among all other speedy bags. I have speedy B in size 30 and used to have size 35 as well but I feel they are quite big as a shoulder bag or crossbody bag on me. It's my self-made bag organizer for size 25. It's totally empty now. Let me compare them together. As a top and the bag, they look like this. In my personal opinion, Alma looks dressier and Speedy B looks more casual. And as a shoulder bag, they look like this. I do not have wide shoulders and the strap of Speedy B is quite stiff and not flexible enough for me so I don't wear it as a shoulder bag that much because it keeps falling down on me. As a crossbody bag, Alma BB is not that easy to use because of the shape. It keeps bumping into the people or anything around me because of the corner of this. On the other hand, the Speedy B is quite easy to use as a crossbody bag because it's quite flexible, it gets flat easily, it can change the shape. The more you use, the softer it gets. So I think it's gonna be better as a crossbody bag as time goes by. Then now, I wanna show you what fits inside. It's my scarf, my big size makeup pouch, as you can see here, it's quite hard to put it in because of the small mouth opening of size 25. But still, there's much room inside. Let me put more stuff. It's my small size pouch, my mini pochette, my card wallet, my another card wallet and the phone that I used to use before I don't use this phone anymore but I put it in to show you what fits inside for me it's hard to zip it with one hand I always have to use two hands and that could be the kind of this bag Speedy B25 looks like this when it's full and let me take out everything it's not that easy. Look at this. I think you'd better know the con as well before you buy this bag.
Then now, let's see what fits inside of Alma Bibi. I like its wide opening, but if you put much, the canvas will stretch like this. Anyway, let's start. The big size makeup pouch doesn't fit in. My mini pochette. My clay. My card wallet. The phone fit perfectly like so. And let me try this one. It fits, but I don't think it's okay. And the scalp. It fits like so, but I don't recommend this. If you keep doing this, I think the back shape will be changed. So these are what I normally carry in my Alma BB. And if you want, you can put something smaller more on the top. As you just saw, the Speedy B hold much more than the Alma BB. But for me, Alma is much easier to use as a top handle bag because of the stud at the bottom. I don't have to care that much when I put it on somewhere thanks to the stud. And it's easy to put something in and take something out thanks to the wide opening. And also, it's easy to zip it with one hand. Whereas, it's hard to close with one hand. I have to do it like this. And it's got quite small mouth opening. But it holds a lot and it's perfect as a crossbody bag. In conclusion, they both have the pros and cons each. The Speedy B25 has a small mouth opening and it's hard to close this bag with one hand. I always have to use my both hands, but it holds a lot and it's so versatile. It's gonna be perfect crossbody bag. And the Alma BB hold much less than the Speedy B25 and it's not that easy as a crossbody. But if you don't carry that much, it's gonna be the easiest bag to grab and go. It's got wide mouth opening and four stud at the bottom. But you have to be careful with the stretching of the canvas or the twisting of the shape. I love them both so much and these are my two favorite bags so I want to recommend them both but if you have to choose the one I think you'd better think about what you are gonna mainly use it for. If you need any further information feel free to ask me on YouTube and thank you very much for watching my video.